Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by the wonderful people over at ExpressVPN. My internet history would sometimes raise a question mark or two and occasionally an exclamation point. <laughs> Which is why VPNs are so important. ExpressVPN utilizes the highest encryption standard. When you're connected to ExpressVPN, every piece of data going in or out of your devices goes through a secure encrypted tunnel that cannot be seen. I personally use VPNs to get through a lot of region blocks on places like Netflix because believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff region blocked on there. A lot. Oh, they even got Digimon. There's ExpressVPN servers just about anywhere you can name, and even some places you can't name, meaning no matter where you go, they will always have you covered. Be sure to use my link in the description below, expressvpn.com slash scooch, to find out how you can get three months free. Huge thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the video, and more importantly, thank you for the privacy. Now I will go back to Googling things I should not Google. I hope you enjoy the video. So for those of you who don't know, if you're somebody who has been living under a rock for the last week or two, or if you're somebody who just kind of doesn't want to be on the internet because it kind of sucks right now, I'm in the same boat as you, by the way, uh, this is a video about something the world did not ask for, okay? For some reason, for some godforsaken reason, Tencent and Pokemon have paired up to make a Pokemon MOBA. First off, Pokemon has already done a lot of weird stuff in the past. We got Pokemon Teeth, we got Pokemon Cafe Puzzle. But what gets me is that Pokemon and Tencent are pairing up together to make League of Legends 2. And I never watched the trailer because I was waiting because I wanted to record it to give you guys my thoughts on it because I think it's so weird. So let's just jump into it, okay? What makes me so upset about this is because this trailer does not look like it's gonna be what it is. This trailer makes it look like they're gonna unveil like the new fucking Pokemon console, the Nintendo Pokemon console, which is just a backpack you wear when you leave the house to become a Pokemon trainer, right? Oh, connect together. Look, we've done so much with Pokemon. Look at this. And now. <laughs> they're pretending. Oh, they're pretending like it's something so revolutionary and it pisses me off so much. We see that there's a jungle, kind of. There's a kind of jungle. It looks like that's a jungle, right? Uh, they have all coves on the top and the bottom, just like League of Legends. And they probably have like a Baron that's going to be in the middle. Or one of those scary Pokemon, like a Rayquaza that's going to pop out of there and beat your ass. Take a gander. Take a gander at this. Snorlax has Volibear's passive. He's running away and healing. That's definitely a volley passive. Pokemon Unite! Presented by the Pokemon Company, and there they are, Dad! There they are, look! It's Tencent! They took Pokemon! They took this property. Something that everyone loved and went, you know what? What if we make it League of Legends? I know that I'm being a negative Nancy, and who knows, like maybe this is gonna be the next League of Legends. Maybe this is gonna be the League of Legends that changes everything, right? But I have my doubts. I have my severe doubts. Okay, Tencent, don't you guys already have like 15 MOBAs? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna flash them on screen. Tencent, what MOBAs do you have? Uh, there they are. Is that it? Is that a lot of MOBAs or is it a little? I may look like an idiot right now. I'm happy to announce the first strategic team-based Pokemon battle game, Pokemon Unite. I'm proud to announce the first strategic 5v5 uh, Pokemon battle game. Uh, however, it is our 37th MOBA to date. Uh, it's not new or revolutionary in any way, but now you can be Blastoise instead of being Olaf. We have partnered with Tencent to develop this game. Nice. Everyone loves Tencent. Tencent, to tell you more. Steven, it's all yours. And right here, they're just gonna cut to a crate of money. It's not even gonna be a human anymore. It's just gonna be a fucking... It's gonna be that breaking bad crate of money. That's what they're gonna cut to right now. Watch. Here he is. Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hello, everyone. Steven, hey. I'm Steven Ma from Tencent. How's it going, Tencent? I'm a fan myself. I'm really happy to be able to announce this project. Uh-huh. The Unite in Pokemon Unite represents the gameplay concept of players coming together with a shared goal. Oh, so, um, that's what it is? It, the Unite stands for players coming together and sharing the same goal? Uh, didn't that also happen in the last Pokemon game? Pokemon Sword and Shield, you could 4v4 a giant a giant monster Pokemon. Does that not count as Pokemon United enough? Does that not count as Pokemon United enough? Through our shared pursuit of innovative gameplay and quality, Tencent and the Pokemon Company have united with the goal of creating a new game that can... Innovative. They said innovative. 
Uh, can you flash on the screen the year the Dota was invented? Innovative. Be enjoyed by all. At Tencent Games, we are committed to our search for undiscovered potential in game development. And this also holds true in our partnership with the Pokemon Company. This is why we have assigned Timmy Studios, a team with 11 years of game development experience that has worked on many... Timmy Studios! Timmy Studios have worked on a bunch of hit items at this point, okay? Let's take a look. What have you made, Timmy Studios? If you've worked on so many top hits, what have you made? Okay, we got QQ Three Kingdoms. We got QQ Speed, which is also Speed Drifters. We match, we run, we fight, we drift. What else do we do? We make MOBA, we make money. Oh, they did Player Unknown Battlegrounds Army Attack. I didn't even know that game had a spinoff. I thought it just died. Whoa, these guys produce Call of Duty. That's actually crazy. And it's actually scary because now you know Call of Duty Mobile is also made by the same guys who are making Pokemon Unite, the sequel to League of Legends, and Metal Slug Code J. I want to look that up. Anyways, let's keep watching, huh? Steven, thank you very much. Thank you, Steven. Uh, wire me the $47 billion that it uh, cost you to get the property to make Pokemon League of Legends, and I will see you on Sunday for that barbecue. The development concept behind Pokemon Unite was to create a cooperative Pokemon game that anyone could pick up and enjoy immediately. It's a MOBA. It's a MOBA. I'm gonna let you know it's a MOBA, which is one of the, like, it's one of the genres of games, if not the genre of game that has the highest learning curve, except for like fucking Valorant and Fortnite, right? And even then, no, I would say MOBAs have the highest learning curve. What does Snorlax's ultimate do? What does Charmander with, Ar with Aghanim's scepter do, huh? What, what, what summoner spell is the best to use when I'm trying to kill Rayquaza mid? I don't fucking know. The biggest defining trait of the game is its real-time team battles, featuring the most Pokemon seen in a single battle yet, with two teams of five Pokemon each. Two teams of five Pokemon each. Real quick. How many players Smash Bros Ultimate? Eight. All right, you'll win. You'll win, Timmy Studios. You guys got one more. You guys got two more people than you can get in Smash Bros. Ultimate. You win, Timmy. All right, fine. Look at that. That's the roster so far. All right, I can already tell you right now, Pikachu is going to be a piece of shit. I can tell you right, like, as in, like, he's going to be the most annoying fucking guy ever. And look over here. Look at him. He is going to be the Lee Sin. Lucario is going to be a Lee Sin. Snorlax is going to be a Volibear. Machamp is going to be a set, right? And Pikachu is just going to be a piece of shit. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to liken him to anything. I can just guarantee Pikachu is going to be the most annoying bastard to go against. I am going to main Gengar though. You can't, look at that fucking smile. You can't, come on. Is there anyone on earth who hates Gengar? Look at him. He's just trying his best out there. 13. There's a lot of say in this image. Clefable looks the least battle ready. Everyone here is like, all right, we're going to get out there. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna draw some blood. Let's go. And Clefable's like, holy shit. Oh, they couldn't come up with a 10th Pokemon to add to the roster. Ah. On each team's side, there are a total of five goals or scoring areas. Scoring areas. Catch wild Pokemon that inhabit the field. What? To score points. So you have to go into the jungle, fight for wild Pokemon, and then deposit them to score points? The goal of the game is to score more points than your opponents within the time limit. Okay, wait. The Pokemon you control begins each battle at level 1. By defeating wild Pokemon in the field, your Pokemon will increase in level and even evolve as well as learn new moves. First off, I'm gonna say that that's tight as shit. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna take back almost everything I've said so far and say that that's the coolest shit I've ever heard in my life. I know it isn't gonna be that fun because a point system just sounds boring. It's not as cool as like go kill each other and take over the base, uh, but it is cool that they evolve. You get to choose which moves your Pokemon learns as it levels up. That is also really cool, because that means that every Pokemon can play differently based on the skills that you get. But is there items yet? Let me see. Is there items in this game? Range attacks, or choose to optimize for long-range capabilities. Damn. ADC, 
ADC Charizard coming through. He'd either be an ADC Charizard or a Bruiser Charizard, and I think that's cool. What the fuck does Snorlax do for his uh, long range, though? Same Pokemon. You can choose how you want to battle. Ooh. Once you reach a high enough level, you can nice. unlock moves unique to this game called Unite moves. Some can deal a lot of damage to multiple opponents at once. Oh, that's cool. That's your ult, right? A Unite move is just an ult, and they're just trying to, like, make it cute. Each Pokemon has a different Unite move with powerful effects. Choosing That's a cool one. Use your unite move and attempting to read when the opponent will use theirs is the, part of the excitement of the match. The ults actually look cool. I'm going to just say that. The ults actually look cool. The, the Venusaur ult didn't look that great, uh, but the rest of them looked cool. Like the bird one was pretty sick. The one where they were, it was like a Pantheon ult and it was dragging everyone along and the Machamp one looked really cool. We will be releasing it as a free to start game for Nintendo Switch. That's what I don't like. All right, I'm going to already call this one. I don't like that it says free to start. That's a scary thing to me. Because free to start means essentially not free to play. Does that mean that you are only going to be able to unlock other Pokemon by paying for them? Or is it going to be like League of Legends where you can unlock Pokemon uh, via, via just playing the game a lot? Free to start makes it sound like you're going to have to pay for Pokemon, which sucks ass. And knowing Tencent, right, and knowing uh, uh, gacha models and money models, they might even make it hard as shit to unlock Pokemon because why not? That's the easiest way to make money, right? I know that this is them trying to make a more serious Pokemon game. And I also know that this is, this is Big Brother Tencent going, hey, we can make a lot of money together, what do you think? Uh, but I don't know what that's going to do. Okay, we're gonna have to wait and see. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait and see. I did come in here a hater because I don't think we need more MOBAs right now. I don't think we need a single MOBA right now. I think all the MOBAs we have right now should go away uh, because MOBAs are the devil. Let's see if it's good. When it comes out, I'll definitely play it. Are you guys gonna play this? I need to know because if you guys are, then maybe we could do some fan games when Pokemon Unite comes out. Now, fucking, I'll rip on all of you as Gengar mid. I swear to God, I'll whoop some ass. Uh, besides that, did you guys like this video? If you did, I'll make more like it. And if you didn't, probably still make more like it because I enjoy making it. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.